Sfera and Transpanel Configuration by Tinsfera Design. In this video we will use the speaker module, the graphic display, the keypad module. I run the Tisfera Design software. I compose the entrance panel. I add into the center area the necessary modules. The speaker module. Then the display. At the end the keypad module. If it is necessary, I readjust the module disposition. The software warns me that it's going to reorder the modules. And at the entrance panel composition, I proceed. Here I choose the display at the language. Choosing the language, I proceed to the next page. Here I configure the modules. Then I go to modify the parameters according to the requirements. The P address, the tone enabling, the lock time and the S call type. Also the display module needs some settings. Brightness and contrast, tone enabling, multiple call, password. Code lock length, the riser base address, the dial mode choice, block floor apartment or alphanumeric code with residence name. If you choose the block floor apartment code, you have to define how the code is composed. Because I want to show you the address book, I choose the alphanumeric mode. On the keyboard, I can choose the condominium or ASX control mode and the secondary lock management. The code lock length is managed on the display. You choose it here only when the keyboard is standalone. Continue towards to the last point where I have to manage the address book. The address book is organized by buildings, complexes, houses. Then organize the list depending on the facet construction types. For each project create your name's list. I add to an existing list a fourth name. I press on the plus to enter a new name or on the pencil to edit. Then click on the new line to enter the data. I enter the contact data, the SGS address and the user calling code. For each contact I can also associate a personal code lock. In this case I cannot even add the page because I have not the reader. I can however add a master key code for gardeners or cleaning staff. After this stage I confirm the new contact and I close the screen. At this point, I have to drag the names into the right space. I add the wall building or even just a list portion. The contact list who I will send to the display, it is ready here next. I turn on the external unit and I connect the mini USB cable. I click on the green button Send Configuration. I save the project. The software reminds me to pull out the jumper and reset the unit. 
disconnect the bus cable and remove the jumper from the back side. Now, power on again the entrance panel with the bus. I can now go ahead and send the configuration to the modules. The right com is found and I can send the data to the speaker. At the first connection, the USB driver was installed. Now wait until the module does the reboot. Now go ahead and configure the display by moving the USB. I confirm and I go on in the configuration. Found the display, I send its configuration. Ended up the display, I have to move the USB to the keyboard to finish. Recognized the last device, the software terminates the phase and I finish the configuration. <laughs>